Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we're going to be going over the cylinder identification, firing order, and ignition wire routing for a General Motors 4.3 liter Vortec V6. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the cylinder identification is as follows. On the driver's side, bank one, we have cylinder number one, three, and five. On the passenger side, bank number two you have cylinders number two four and six and the firing order is as follows one six five four three and two now for the ignition cable routing the ignition cable routing or ignition wire routing on this particular engine is quite simple due to the fact that there are numbers on the top of the distributor cap and each of those numbers are at the base of an ignition wire connector on the distributor cap. And naturally those numbers represent the particular cylinder that that ignition cable connector or ignition wire connector fires. On the driver's side you have one, three, and five. And on the passenger side you have two, four, and six. So if you were to replace the ignition cables or wires on this particular engine, naturally the number one ignition cable connector would receive the spark plug wire and the other end would go to cylinder number one or the spark plug on cylinder number one. Same thing goes for cylinder number two, three, four, five, and six. Well that is it folks. As mentioned in all my videos, please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. There may be some things I need to clarify. That's where I do that. Also please read the disclaimer at the very end of it. And also this is a 2006 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. There may be some variations and some things that may apply and not apply to different years on this particular engine here. So uh, do your own research and always verify everything. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.